Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully go about resolving if you're having some serious startup issues on your Windows 10 computer. So whether you are experiencing a lot of black screens, boot loops, or it just seems to be infinite loading, and then perhaps you're greeted by a blue screen of all things. I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve those issues as well as just general startup repair, could not repair your PC, errors along those lines as well. So the first thing we're going to do is kind of get everybody on the same page here. So if you're able to boot into the automatic repair utility, more power to you. That's kind of where we're going in this video. However, if you're unable to do that, and or there are some options that we're going to be going through this video that might be a little more challenging to actually do through the built-in Windows utility, you might want to consider booting your computer from a DVD or USB flash drive that has Windows 10 installed on it. So this would be called the Media Creation Utility and it is provided for free through Microsoft's website. So you want to go ahead and make sure you download that just so you so you can kind of boot outside of the Windows environment and that's what we're going to do in today's tutorial because even though it might look like the same built-in Windows troubleshooting that you might be greeted with with start repair and everything, this is going to be a little bit higher level in my opinion so it's just out of the Windows operating system and might be able to help repair some files that are broken within Windows. So I've already burned it to a DVD and we're going to be booting our computer from it. I will have a link in the description to the video to the media creation utility as well as the utility itself. So just so you guys can go ahead and download that without too much of a hassle directly through Microsoft's website. So now we're going to be booting from the DVD, your motherboard. Your individual computer settings might be different to get in the boot menu. Some manufacturers have it the escape key or F2, F8, F12 could be anything in between to be honest with you and I'm referring to function keys on the top of your keyboard so just keep that in mind I tap the escape key in my case but you might have to tap a different key more than likely as well because there are several function keys so in the boot menu here I'm going to use my arrow keys to scroll down to my CD-ROM drive and I'm going to hit enter if your hardware supports USB Boots, which I believe most people will if you have a somewhat modern computer it shouldn't be an issue so just go ahead and download it to that just keep in mind it needs to be greater than 8 gigabytes so you have to press any key to begin booting from the DVD so that's what we are doing right now select next after you ensure your language is all correct up here so select next do not click install now instead select repair your computer down at the bottom left corner of this window here so left click on that under your choose an option, we have several options here, so we're going to select troubleshoot for this tutorial. Now, we have several different options we can go through here, so I'm just going to give a brief overview of the ones that I personally would suggest exploring first. So the first one would be start or prepare, so find and fix problems to prevent Windows from loading. So go ahead and select that. Go select the target operating system here, and that would actually begin the start or prepare. So it's going to begin diagnosing our computer, so we're just going to let this run here for a couple minutes. So I might not have been able to repair our PC, that's fine, well, I mean, that's not fine, but we're going to go through other options in this video, so I'm going to select advanced options again, I'm going to select troubleshoot, and now we're also going to explore the system restore option, so use a restore point recorder on your PC to restore Windows, so go ahead and left click on that, we're going to select the target operating system here, so system restore can help find and fix problems that might be making your computer run slowly or stop responding. System Restore does not affect any of your documents, pictures, or other personal data. Recently installed programs and drivers might be uninstalled. Go ahead and left click on Next. Now if you have any Restore points saved on your computer, I would suggest selecting the most recently created one. And then select Next, and then you're just going to go ahead and actually restore your computer back to this date. 
I found much success in doing this before with the system restore method so I would highly implore you guys to go and try that and see if that works if it doesn't go boot right back into the utility that I have in the description of the video just rewatch part of the video if you want to go back to how we did that but I'm just going to click on cancel right now and we're going to go back to the troubleshooting options because there's one more thing I would like to try here and there's something else I'd like to try here and that'd be to uninstall updates or remove recently installed quality or feature updates so if you want to go ahead and uninstall quality or feature updates I recommend trying that I don't really want to go through that in this tutorial everything's pretty automated in this process so you can try uninstalling a latest feature updates or basically rolling back to the latest build of Windows and different quality updates as well so they seem to differentiate these two in this version of this utility they've added and removed stuff from these advanced options over the years so it doesn't really surprise me that they've changed it a little bit and then finally we're going to explore command prompts use the command prompt for advanced troubleshooting this is where we're going to get a little bit more into it and that's where we're going to select now I hope feel like we've covered several potential fixes already in this video so I do hope that one of the methods I showed was able to resolve your problem if not I think this is like method four or five here we're gonna go ahead and jump into hopefully resolving it with another method okay so now that we're in the command prompt here you wanna go ahead and just type in chk dsk space forward slash f and then another space forward slash r and then you want to type in your drive letter after you've done another space after the R. So whatever drive letter Windows installed on, you want to just follow that up right here. So I'm just going to do a capital C because that's where Windows installed on, followed by a colon. Please swap out this C with another letter if you know Windows is installed on another drive letter. However, even if you try C and it's not the drive letter, it just would give you back an error. So just go ahead and just type it in again until you find the drive letter that Windows is installed on. Hit enter on your keyboard. So this will take a little bit of time to run here, so just please be patient. So now that you've done that, you can close out of here. If you are still having problems, you can try running another command as well. So we go back in here. You can try running the SFC, space forward slash scan now command. Hit enter on your keyboard. Okay, so once that's done, close out of here. I would suggest restarting your computer, and hopefully that has been able to resolve your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.